Warning, your mind is now being controlled by your television. Your television is your friend. Your television loves you more than your parents ever did. Nice, good television. Hi, I'm Michael Moore, and welcome to The Awful Truth. Um, now, a few years ago, we had a show based right here in Times Square called TV Nation, and we tried a little experiment on the show. We placed a award-winning black actor, Yafet Koto, right over there on the street corner. Then about, oh, 30, 40 feet up the street, we placed Louis Bruno, a convicted white felon. We wanted to see who the taxi drivers would pick up first. Uh, and of course, you can guess what happened. They whizzed right by the black actor, Yafet Koto, and picked up the uh, convicted white felon. Well, we thought by doing that, we would maybe try to change things here in New York. And now it's, what, six years later, and the same problem. This year, Danny Glover, actor from uh, Lethal Weapon, tried to hail a cab, couldn't get one filed a complaint with the city. I saw that and I said, okay, that's it, man. That's it. We're going to do something else on our show this year. So tonight, and all through the show tonight, I'm going to be the taxi driver. You're going to 80 on the Upper East Side? Upper East Side. I, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm not picking up any white people. Where are you going to? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only picking up African Americans today. Sorry. Yes. Where are you going? Uptown? No, are you white? What do you mean? You're white. I've had a lot of people want to go over to Madison Avenue today, but uh, I had to pass them by. They were, you know. Oh. Where are you going? Well, is your light on or not? I'm just going nearby. Uh, my light is only on for African Americans. Give me one good American patriotic slogan. Um, ask not what you can do for your country, but what you can. Uh, United States, go USA. Go USA? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hmm. That's not one. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. How about show me the money? No, I don't like that one. No, that's the new slogan down in Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah, they want my money. I just sent them a bunch of money last, last month. I think we all did. Yeah. You know, well, they're down there spending their money, and nobody's in charge of the house. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah, I do know what you're saying. Well, I decided to put somebody in charge of it. Okay. For you and me and All everybody right. else. All right. You want to meet him? Sure. Watch this. Okay. What's the difference between a prostitute and a politician? A prostitute gives clients sexual favors. A politician, like Congressman Bill Thomas, gives corporations political favors. A prostitute takes money from guys who can't get any, whereas a politician like Tom DeLay takes money from guys who can't get enough. Prostitutes go to jail for turning tricks, while politicians stay out of jail by using their bag of tricks. A prostitute makes $30,000 a year the hard way, whereas a politician like Senator Frank Murkowski makes money the easy way. $120,000 a year from us, and a couple hundred thousand more from hard-up oil executives. Actually, the only difference between a prostitute and a politician is that a prostitute has a pimp keeping an eye on her, and a politician doesn't. <laughs> Until now. 
anybody can say there's a pimp. I go to a club and a lot of young guys, I'm a pimp, I'm a pimp, I'm a pimp. But you can tell in the attitude. I even wrote a book on the game, man. I got a book. I'm one of the five pimps in history to actually have a book about the game. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so well known around the country, mm -hmm. besides my impeccable pimping skills. So do you think the way I'm looking at this is, is, is off or do you think it's it's on? I mean, it's because it, I'm, I'm, I just, I, I look at Congress, I see them selling themselves out. We've tried so many things yes. to get Smoke some screens. order. Yeah. yeah, well, it's all failed. Yeah. So you're like the last resort, all right? Yeah. If you can go down there as our pimp and, and bring some order to the this house of ill repute, I think uh, America would, would applaud you. Will America applaud a pimp? Uh, I'm gonna show if them you how do real that, pimp. Yeah. Show if you do this, if you do this, if you if you if you if you slap them around a bit and get them knock some sense into their head, and and at the very least, if they're gonna be whores, be whores for the people. Okay. Well, I will pimp for America. How about that? When I get my Mac on, I like to learn some of the local customs. So I went to visit one of my homies. He's an expert. That's Nick Nyhart over at Public Campaign. He knew all the players on my new block. Slick Nick. Mm -hmm. I want to get some of this Washington, D.C. lingo in my Rolodex. What's a campaign contribution? A campaign contribution uh, is a sum of money uh, given to a person who's running for office to help them further their campaign. Okay, so that's basically the cheddar that you guys are spreading around here in Washington, D.C. That's the money. That's the money. That's, that's the, the big money. money. And I don't think the U.S. Uh, Senate and the U.S. House members would be getting all that money unless the people who gave it to them expected something in return. So basically, we got a bunch of hoes with the politicians turning tricks for the lobbyists and the tricks of uh, favors, illicit favors that they really shouldn't be doing to get some of this contribution money, right? About $3 billion this year. Well, you looking at a $3 billion pimp. You feel me, Nicky? Slick Nick? Bam. Yeah, take me to the Capitol, homie. Let's go up and get some of this Congress money. I had more than 500 new hoes to bring into my stable, so I headed straight for the mother load, the U.S. Capitol building. What's up, baby? I'm the new Mac in town. Look at all you hoes. Y'all keep on taking that oil money. Break me off a little cheddar, you little stable of bitches. Wait, who, who's your homeboy right here, man? Hold on, I'm spitting game at this bitch. What's up, baby? You don't want to work for a real pet? Already. Looking good, though. Uh, I'm sorry, I came to the wrong place. Oh, I just want to spit a little game at you, baby. I can't, I gotta go. Oh, man. Man, y'all need to get off on this, man. I can hook you up. What's up, baby? Come over here and holler at a real pimp. You gotta go well, pimp. No one would disrespect me like that unless they already had a pimp. And in this town, that's the Democratic and the Republican parties. These pimps bring in millions, and they weren't just gonna let me in on the action. So I went down there to tell them that their services were no longer needed now that a real pimp was in town. So my thing is, I just want to show y'all how a real pimp does it, and oh, I just yeah. want to let you know that they're they working for you me know, now. You deal no, with them, don't. the hell they, they don't. They work for the people yeah. of Pennsylvania, the, they the people work of Texas. For, they work for the pimp of Los Angeles, because I done went and put the shoe on their ass. This is the new game now. I came in to D.C. to get my pimp on. I'm just like you. But the thing is, them hoes go through me now. They're my stable, you feel me, j Dog? And I'm coming to you pimp to pimp, because, you know, I'm, the rules of the game is that if you knock another pimp's hoe, you got to go check the pimp and let him know what's up. You well, so, it sounds to me like you're you're quite upset and uh, and you're you're very disenchanted, no, like most Americans no, are, at the Republican no, majority baby, and their no. effort to kill I'm, campaign no, finance baby, reform. No, dog I'm not upset with you, man. I mean, you know, I don't hate the player. I don't hate the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't play a hate. I congratulate, baby. You know what I'm saying? I so. think we're probably done for the... Come on, man. One last thing, man. Really, who are you giving your money to, man? Because I might know. I'm telling you, I've been checking bitches all week, man. Well, I, I really resent your, your use of that word, so I, I would ask... What word, bitch? That. Yeah, That's I, what they are. I mean, well, you resent the truth? They bitches. They hoes. And you a pimp. I mean, really. I mean, what other euphemism can we use? I like you, man. I'm telling you. We're on the same page with this pimp game, baby. It's all to the good. I think you got the picture that I was now the main Mac in charge. 
Next, I had to tell all the fat cat Johns who pay for these hoes on Capitol Hill that they'd be dealing with me from now on. The lobbyists and the political action committees, they're everywhere, and they're looking for some sweet action. So I started with the high rolling Johns over at the American Gaming Association. You see, about 10 years ago, only two states allowed gambling. But since then, the gambling lobby kicked Congress down over $17 million. And now you can gamble in 47 states. Each state has the right to determine what kind of gambling they want in their state, okay. to control it, to tax it, and we don't want the federal government coming in and imposing their will. Okay, so, you know, you've been taking care of a few politicians or what? Oh, sure, we, we, get, we're ne we never make no apology whatsoever That's what for I participating. Like. That's what I we like. We participate in the like. process. Uh, we give to candidates uh, who we believe in and whose uh, philosophy we believe in, and uh, we represent millions of shareholders as well as our employees, and we're going to continue doing it as long as it's legal. That's what I'm talking about. Get all the money you can. I want some of that big money, my damn self. I want to get it all. Talk about cheddar. The Johns at the alcohol lobby killed the drunk driving law that would have saved thousands of lives. That law would have cost alcohol companies millions in liquor sales. So for a lot less, just 1.5 million a year in payoffs to these bitches in Congress, they made it go away. Can you say bling bling? Isn't it true that you killed a, a law that will, um, the drunk driving law that will cut the alcohol rate down a little bit? Well, actually, our view was that the federal government shouldn't be telling every state how to reduce drunk driving. Did you guys contribute, like, about, what, $1.5 million last year to that? Well, we actually give, uh, we give in an average two-year campaign cycle about $1.6 million to candidates. That's what I'm candidates. talking about. You're making my ears tingle. I like that, Dave. So whenever you want to spread that $1.5 mil, you got to holler at K-Flex now. I'm running the deal, man. So far, I've done gambling and booze, and now it's time for booty. Run it, that booty. I love that name. We're making a booty call. Right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, Ms. Booty, now, um, for my audience, explain exactly what does BIPAC do. BIPAC elects business to Congress. That's what I like. Johns that know what they want and got the money to pay for it. I want to help you guys get the most money you can and get the most favors you can out of these guys because that's well, the name no, of the no, game. No, 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 no. That's the name no, no, of the no, game, no, no, no. no we're not talking favors. What's the, what's the uh, euphemism for that? I mean, we want our agenda enacted. Agenda, hey, agenda, favors, mavers, those are votes. That is votes. I can get you the votes you need, Miss Booty. I can get you the votes. Now, what do you need the most? The resolution of health care liability and expansion of global markets. That's all I do is negotiate deals and and hook up tricks with John. That's all I do. That's the name of the game here in D.C. I really do not want to engage any further with someone who would call a member of Congress or a candidate a hoe mm. or a person I like the way you who said engaged that. in That's the process a hoe. I, I got to go deal with some of these hoes so. up here on Capitol Hill. Anywho, but um, you got the card. I have the card. Ms. Booty, it's been real. With the other pimps out of the way, and all these Johns horny for special favors, I was ready to meet my hoes on Capitol Hill. All 535 of them. So have you been receiving any finances or anything from anybody? Oh, a little, little bit, yeah. A little some, some? I'm spending about $50,000 That's it? Election. Man, you, you holler at me, man. I'm going to give you my page and I'm going to pay you 1000 Come on. Yeah, yeah, man, I can hook you up with more money than that. I'll give you my you card, man. Look at that. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I can hook you up, baby. That's a nice tie, but I can have that whole suit looking like that tie. You know uh, what I'm saying? You what? You know. Mac of the year, baby. But look, let me give you my card okay. so you can holler at me because I'm K-Flex, the congressional pimp up in here, baby. Well, I'll tell you, that's pretty impressive. This is what basically what you're mm -hmm. saying is that if certain interest groups kick you a few dollars, I mean, you pr pretty much do what you want to, want, what they want you to do, right? No, I do what the voters want me to do. Right. No, you really, are you really concerned I'm about really, the voters? Oh, you bet I am, because... Because I know, think y'all tricking and hoeing. No, no, no. Hey, I want everybody's support. I want you to get all that money, because okay. I want you to break me off some of that. You know <laughs> no, what I'm saying? No, there's no breaking off. You can't break off no cheddar. No, no, man, you work no. for me, man. Like no. I said, man, y'all been getting this money from all these lobbyists and these interest mm. groups, man. Y'all can break a pimp off a little something, no. something. Bling, bling. I'm going to get you one of these. You know what I'm saying? So you can get 
get your Mac on. I mean, you ever been this close to a pimp? No, never I mean, before. This is, a, this is a first time for everything, man. And I want you guys to work for me. I want you to take off your low heels oh, and, no, and no. put on your hoe heels. No, this is no, what I want, man. I want you to work it out. I can't work what it out. What size shoe you I wear? Look, I just look good in black loafers. Oh, That's man. Yeah, Red I can, heels don't, don't these appeal These will work. Man, you can work it out. You can walk all up oh. and down Capitol Hill with these. Oh, man, we can get all types of money. Yeah. Man, I like you. Well, man. I've got to go. Okay, I've got to be into a meeting, so my pleasure to see you. Okay, and I'm going to leave these hoe heels over here behind your desk. Cool. Okay. All right. It's all, all to right. the All right, guys. Bye now. Okay. okay. My name is Nick Lampson. Cool, Nick. Well, I'm K Flex the Pimp. I'm K Flex the Pimp with a P. You feel me? And you guys work for me now, baby. You feel me? Now, you go get that money like I told you guys to, all right? What money are we going after? That hoeing money. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the master pimp in town. What are you, what are you doing? Man, I'm the Mac of the Year, baby. I'm trying to get some of this money y'all out there tricking for, man. We we here on the same page, man. Where are you from? I'm here, man. I'm from... Aren't you embarrassed? I'm embarrassed? For what? What am I embarrassed by? Yourself. Man, Your I'm actions. A, man, you ain't embarrassed for tricking off all that money piece? Baby, don't. Don't walk away from a pimp. Don't walk away from a pimp, baby. Totally don't, hey, I, hey, take off your low heels and put on your hoe heels. Don't walk away from a pimp, baby. See, I'm going to have to check that bitch when I see you later on. I found out later that this Lampson character is one of the few hoes up here that won't even turn tricks. So I'll be keeping my eye on him. You get one hoe thinking all uppity, and the next thing you know, they're all repenting and going on Oprah. So if you're a member of Congress, and you're turning tricks without going through me, you better watch your back. Because the people of America, they're gonna put a shoe to your little bony ass. And if anyone asks you who you work for, you tell them K Flex, the people's pimp. Yeah, I like this town. You don't have any white people with you, do you? No, no. Okay. Black. All right, good. Hop in. No whites. Man, look at all these white people moving into Harlem. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's what, what they call it, gentrification? Yeah. No. That's what it's taking. I call it, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on, wait, wait. How did your ancestors get to this country? A uh, ship. But not a slave ship? No, sir. Where are you going? 74th Street. Upper East Side? Yeah. The neighborhood's too dangerous. 74th Street? Yes, ma'am. Between 5th and Madison? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Very high crime area. A lot of, uh, lot of Wall Street people live there. A lot of corporate crooks, sorry. What's the best thing about being a guy? The best thing about guy, being a guy? Uh, power. Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Watch this. Good evening and welcome once again to the Awful Truth Apartheid series. Remember Apartheid? That evil form of government in South Africa where the minority race ruled the majority? Well, that, we agree, was wrong. But there is a form of Apartheid it has worked like a charm for eons. It's called male apartheid, or as I like to think of it, the good apartheid, where the minority gender rules over the majority gender. Now, some of you may not think that that's fair or even right, but it is fair and it is right. Take a look. Let's take a look at the male apartheid success story. Government. The U.S. boasts the longest all-male leadership streak of all Western democracy. Congratulations! 211 years and not a single woman president. And the result? 211 years of all-male action. Business. Bold men of vision have created the greatest peacetime economic boom in history. Rich men are becoming even richer. Men. With so much to spread around, there's even room in this economy for the ladies. Hey, baby, go get me a cup of coffee, will ya? 
culture. Since the very dawn of time, men have successfully controlled the arts, providing entertainment for men and men. The media. From the information superhighway to the nightly news, from the games men play to the countries men invade, men have always been there to tell you what men have been doing, which is all that women need to know. How does man stay in power? Ask yourself how a creature that has a shorter life expectancy, that is incapable of bringing life into this world, that loses its own God-given hair, that has a lower IQ, this awkward, lumbering beast that can't even find the other sock, how do men stay in power? It's because of you, the women. You vote more than men, and when you vote, you vote for men. What a deal. What a great group of gals. The majority, satisfied with letting the minority call the shots. Male apartheid. You know you love it. You guys need a ride anywhere? Yeah. You sure? Where? Take you across the street? I take you guys anywhere because you're African American. And I'm tired of these taxis not picking you up. I'm serious. All right, thanks. You got it, man. Okay? Thank you. All right, All right. American. I'm New York. And I only pick up black passengers. That's right, I got that little African shit in there. That's right. I only pick up African Americans. Uh, nope, you're white. 95th to Broadway? 90, oh, ho, ho. not that neighborhood. Sorry, buddy. Macy's? Mm. You have money? You mean you, you got enough money on you? Yeah. Well, I don't want to get the stills. All right. You got enough money on you? I got plenty of money. Can you want. show me? Get it. No. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Are you, what do you mean? Huh? Sorry, ma'am. Get a tan. Hey, that's our show for tonight. I really appreciate you watching it. And, and listen, if you want to find out more about pimping, don't. If you'd like to find out more about campaign finance reform, check out our site at www.michaelmoore.com. We'll be back again next week at the same time, right here on The Awful Truth. Good night, everybody. Hey, hey, wait, 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 hey, hey, hands off the car before I call the cops, all right? All right. All right? We want to go downtown, that's all. Hey, Whitey. Hit the road. Come on. All right. Hit the road. Hey, you know what? Hey, what? I got, I got something for you right here. Yeah, what do you got? This. Oh, all right. Come back here and kiss my white ass. taxis passed you by before you had uh, before I pulled over? About three. Three taxis passed you by? Yeah. Well, that's three dollars off your fare then. 82nd? It's too dangerous. And Amsterdam? You're yes. talking about ten blocks from here. I know where it is. I'm not doing it. Shut the door. Get. No. No. <laughs> Whitey can't ride! There's actually some some television station in the country is going to run this. I'm, I'm amazed. But, uh... Yeah, man, it was, this is Pimp TV, man. <laughs> hey, man, we got pimping 24 hours a day, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want you to take off your low heels. <laughs> oh and no, no. Put on your whole heels. No.